Hey guys, welcome back to Container Crops, the Scaredy Cat Gardener. It is a beautiful, amazing morning here in Zone 7B. Question, did you know that you can eat your radish seed pods? They are edible and they are amazingly delicious. I'm going to show you how to eat them, how to harvest them, and just a little bit about them. They are just amazing. Even if you don't like radish, you probably will like the seed pods from the radish. There are certain radishes that are grown just for the seed pods. Three different ways you can eat them and prepare them. You can also can them for long-term storage. You know, a radish is one of your fastest growing crops. You can plant some specific radishes They'll be ready to eat in four weeks. But if you don't like the radish or if you have a problem growing radish and they seem to just always go to seed, I'm going to show you what to do with those seed pods. Show off your fantasy reality. Whoa, that's yours, but I'll keep doing mine. You'll be living your good life. time okay guys we are back and before we get started if you are new to the channel welcome 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 thank you so much for stopping by please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything also follow me in my Facebook group container crops and you can always find me on IG the scaredy cat gardener okay I'm gonna take you on over this is actually my radish plants that are going to seed. Once I learned what I am getting ready to share with you today, I will be actually growing some radish just for the seed pods. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are over here at my radish plant that is going to seed. Look at all those pods on there. And everywhere you see a flower still, that means I have that many more pods to come. So you don't need an abundance of radish plants to get a really huge harvest. They're looking something like this close up. You can see you want to get them when they are about this size. You don't want them to be too much larger, larger than this because it'll be kind of woody inside. But this right here is the perfect size. They are also some of them will have different colors. Now this particular radish was a black radish seed. I've already tasted one. I'm going to taste them with you. I'm going to show you how to prepare them in three ways and I'm going to do the taste test but just to break it off of here and eat it, it was absolutely delicious. And if you don't like radish, it doesn't have that strong taste that some radish have, that spice. You might get a tad bit at the end but nothing much. Look at it's just flowering everywhere and can you see all these pods that are already on here. So I've got some that I've already harvested and they're being prepared in one of my ways as we speak and then I'm going to harvest some more and I'm going to show you how to harvest them as well. These are good size. They're actually kind of like uh, peas, uh, not peas, green beans. So as you guys can see, the pods on here are kind of like green beans or any other uh, pea pod that you might be growing out here. Uh, and if you touch one, I'm going to show you one that's ready. They're really pretty firm on the inside. And another thing, these flowers, oh my goodness, they've been bringing the bees in every day. Every day the bees are out here and as soon as these flowers get pollinated, then comes the pods. So I'm ecstatic about this. <laughs> I do love radish. I'm growing some icicle radish over there, but I will always um, grow my radish and let them go to seed. Now your rat tail radish is actually grown for the seeds. Now these pods are eaten in other places in Germany. They are also left to dry and turn brown like you would for planting and then they're eaten with beer. 
like nuts and beer, like we would eat Spanish peanuts and beer in pubs. They're actually considered a delicacy in Indian, Asian and European cuisine, cuisine, cuisines. I can't say that word this morning. Cuisines. <laughs> they cook with them all the time. So um, it's a good staple to have. It's also another harvest. I mean, if it hits the fan, we need to know everything in our garden that we can eat everything not just one thing I mean, you know we got our tomatoes and we have this and we, but we need to know each part of each plant that we can grow harvest and eat and I am amazed at this one and I am happy with this one so let's go ahead I'm going to show you how to harvest it and then I'm going to harvest some and we're going to go inside and we're going to do our taste. And I'm going to show you how to prepare them so that you can enjoy them too. Okay, so you can harvest them at just about any size. This one right here is a really good size. And this is the stem. Sometimes the stem will come off. You can actually pull them off, but I like to just snip them. It's just easier. Now, when we take them inside, you want to take the stem completely off. And as you can see, it looks just like what a green bean would look on the end. And it's firm. It's nice and firm. You can't really press it in. And that's what you want. And you just, they come in any size. You can clip them off at any size. And I just want to show you, you can just take your hand and simply pull them off. That works too. I just personally like to clip them off. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest some so we can get inside and I can show you how to okay, eat Okay, so I've just harvested a few. You can see that. I have some already inside that I've harvested and they are being prepared so that we can taste those and I'll show you how I prepared them. And then I want to show you the difference here when you're harvesting them. I'm actually waiting until they get to this about this size. I like this size and they're firm. If you're pressing in on it like that, it, there's no give. This one I pulled to show you, it's not ready. Look at that, it squishes. You don't want the ones that squish. Leave them there until they turn here. And this is about a good size. Now I do have some that are a little oddly shaped or a different size. And that's fine as long as they are good and firm. You'll find that you have them small. Like this one is very tiny, but it's very firm. And you don't want them to get too hard. And if they start to brown, they'll be woody inside. But you still can eat them because then you can eat the actual seed that's inside. That's what they eat in Germany with the beer. It's the actual seed that you do just like you would any other seed. You harvest it, you let it dry out, and then you take the seed out of the pod that's edible too but some of us can't wait to get to that point so let's head on inside so we can get these prepared okay guys we are inside and i have harvested some it's just a few right here i've got some over there that i harvested a few days ago um but i'm going to show you three ways that you can eat them uh first of all when you first pick them out you may see like a stem on the end just like you would um, any other pea pod or green bean pod, the stem, you just want to break that stem off. Just break it off like that. Not this end where there's the bean at, but the end with the stem. Just take that stem right off of there. And then you'll just be left with just the pea pod. So the number one way to eat them is to just eat them. You can just bite them. This is good. It tastes like a green bean. It tastes just like a green bean. If you've ever picked, grown and picked a green bean or eaten a green bean fresh before cooking, it's delicious. It doesn't have that strong radish taste that a lot of people don't like or that spice that radishes give you. It doesn't have that. I like a lot of spice. So for someone that doesn't like any spice, they may see that they have a tiny, tiny bit of spice, but 
It's not even as much as black pepper. So that's number one. Easy peasy. So the number two way to eat your pea pods. Let me show you that. Okay. So the number two way is to pickle them. And an easy way to pickle these pods, you can just take pickle juice. Have a jar of pickles, eat the pickles, save your pickle juice, and just put them in here. And let them stay in here for about a week up to maybe a month. It just depends. These have been in here just about a week, and I've already tasted one. It was delicious, but I'm going to taste another one right now. So it really just takes a week, and um, then they're pretty much ready. So, which one, which one? Okay, I'm gonna just take this one right here. These are absolutely delicious, guys. And guess what? They taste like pickles. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. And like anything else that you pickle, the longer you let it stay in its brine, the stronger it flavor it'll be. So, these are delicious. They taste just like the pickles. And these were dill pickles. So I imagine if you put it in some sweet pickle juice, they may take on a slighter sweet taste. But I like dill, so it's absolutely amazing. And that's another thing you can do. You can pickle them the regular way and can them. So long-term preservation, that's good. On to number three. So we are at the stove and the third way is to saute them. Put a little butter and olive oil in your skillet. Always add a little olive oil or avocado oil or some type of oil when you're sauteing with your butter so your butter won't burn. That raises the heat content of your butter and it allows it to melt and everything without burning. So you just want to put them in there. You can just add a little salt and pepper to them if you like. I choose to add a little flavor in there. And we're gonna just let them cook just until they start browning. So I'm gonna let these saute here for a minute and we'll be right back. You can turn them over periodically, but once they start to get that little brown color, if you can see that in there, just that little brown color, that's what you want and then they are pretty much ready i like to at least turn them over once this one's good and brown here see that color on there that's what you want that's what you want okay so these are pretty much ready so let's go on over and we'll do a taste test on these now this method is the only one i haven't tasted so far so let's taste together okay see this is what they look like all sauteed up so let's go ahead and give it a taste it tastes like green beans seriously mmm they taste like sauteed green beans three ways all three ways are delicious I also have not tried the way where they let them completely dry out and they turn like nuts where they eat them like in Germany where it's a delicacy and they eat them like, um, you know, with nuts and beer. So I haven't tried that way either, but I may let a few dry out like that just so that I can try them. It's good to know all ways, any way that you can preserve something, cook something, grow something, harvest something. So guys, this is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my garden and my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. Don't forget to subscribe and do me the biggest favor ever. Share the video out. Tell everybody that's growing in containers. If you know someone that wants to grow in containers, that container crops is over here growing. <laughs> in containers and I'm trying to share that journey and all the information that I get with you. Okay guys that's going to do it for today. I hope that you all if you're growing radishes that you'll enjoy the pods as much as I do and if you're not growing radishes give them a try. If you don't like radishes give them a try one more time and let them go to seed and try the pods. You only need one or two plants. This whole group 
is only two plants in there, just two. It would produce two radishes, but look what I've got growing on. Oh my goodness. Thank you all so much again. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And until next time, remember, anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. And I'll see you on the trail. You'll be living your good life. Catch a glimpse from the outside all the time.